Hello, all the Jesse Pepper and Pears. Hello, the Jesse Sugar Sugars. Welcome back to my channel. Before we continue, let's recite the channel's anthem, which is Jesse Pepper and Pears. Pepper and Pears. Jesse Sugar Sugars. Oh, Sugar Sugars. Hello, all the beautiful Jesse Pepper and Pears. Hello, all the beautiful Jesse Sugar Sugars. Welcome back to my channel. This is the beautiful Jesse. Jesse the Sugar Sugar. Jesse the celebrity. How are you doing, guys? Hope you're popping. Hope you are glowing. Hope you are strong. Hope you are hell and hearty. So, guys, you're welcome back to my channel. I want to quickly say thank you to everyone who have supported me thus far. To everyone who has been watching my video who have been sharing who have been commenting who have been giving me thumbs up from time to time i am very very i'm um, grateful and my heart is full of joy knowing that there are people who actually want the best for me on this platform thank you and guys today i'm actually going to be talking about um the reasons why so many things that africans are actually suffering in europe of someone who have been in abroad someone who have lived her life um, a major part of her life um, outside her native land. I think I can relate to this. I have one or two things to say in regards to why some believe that people in Europe are enjoying why others actually believe that some of them are smiling and suffering. I am not going to take the, this away that in abroad you get so many opportunities you get the opportunity to meet new people the opportunity to change your mindset the opportunity to respect other people's religions and other people's lifestyle way of life generally and you also learn to abide um, by the law especially for those who are coming from a country that are not so law abiding or where there are so many um corruption that goes in there when you live in europe and in other western world you are going to be trained psychologically mentally and otherwise on how to be behave x the law is going to teach you how to behave that being said i'm going to be it is equally very important to me to tell the truth my truth about life in abroad and i'm going to say that it is not rosy at all life is already challenging enough and living abroad or those who live abroad have so many pressures apart from the pressures of trying to identify with the country where they are with the people who they work with they also have pressures coming from home putting so much expectations on them and most times people at home do not really even ask them how they are faring do they even live in the proper house or are they sharing a room with hundred persons already you know i'm over exaggerating but nobody actually cares to know how you are faring because they feel the moment you are no longer in your country of birth then your life automatically beautiful wherever it is but i'm going to disagree with those who, are, who have this point of view that it does not work that way it is not obtainable it doesn't mean when you are abroad you are just um comfortable automatically you have to work your acts you have to work so much in order to pay your bills the accommodation you enjoying the electricity the internet the food and every luxury you are paying for it nobody's giving it to you for free and i also think that a lot of people put too much emphasis about going to europe and the west and this is why so many people believe that the moment they are fifth steps in Europe, hey, that God has finally buttered their bread, oh, that everything is going to be top-notch, top-notch. It's going to be small boy with big God kind of slangs, and it's going to be small girl with big God kind of thing. <laughs> but when you step your feet in any of those Western world, you're going to understand that it's not just small boy thing with big God, oh, that there is much to read that meets the eyes. It is also true that when you get to Europe and other Western world, you are going to meet not just graduates, not graduate that came out with third class, not graduate with second class lower, not just graduate with um, second class upper division, but graduate with first class with exceptionally awesome result that you think that with this result, there will no no suffering in europe some of them start up their lives in europe working as cleaners in hospitals and even before you get this cleaning job you will still be asked for experience you will still have to get one or two certification there adding to whatever degree you have gotten from your home country this is what our graduates even those with their master degree face when they get to the western world and when they find their feet in europe some of them start their life with washing plates at different restaurants some of them sweep the streets just to survive so our people out there are suffering in different ways 
starting life abroad or in diaspora is not a, a walk in the park so if you're watching this video you have a brother you have a sister you have a friend you have a relative who is residing in any part of the western world and you think that life is just too rosy for them you feel they're not doing enough at home if you feel they don't care i am here to remind you that please take it easy on them they're already prejudiced prejudiced don't add more to what they are going through so the least you can do is to keep praying for them is to encourage them and also for them to find favor in the foreign land where they find themselves. I am not in any way trying to discourage anyone who feels that their destiny can only be for few or realize the moment they leave, they leave the shores of their mother's land or father's land. I am not in any way coming here to argue with anybody that feel that the best life they can have is in Europe or in the West. I am not in any in any way trying to discourage anyone who has the intention intention of leaving their mother or father's land to find greener pasture over there i honestly feel it is a matter of perspective it is hard to get that dream job over there after paying such high international fees but that reality has equally been there for a couple of years now those cleaning and security job tends to pay an average of about 24,000 pounds annually. That is if you're living in the UK. And if that is a full-time job for you. Sure, this will not fund the same kind of lifestyle like that of a doctor, lawyer, and engineers. But I want you to know in this video that happiness is also a big factor when considering whether to move abroad, to stay abroad, or to live to your mother's land. At the end of the day, some people might want to go back to their mother or father's life and this makes me to think that some folks comes with some romantic views about living in europe of a truth the top opportunities in the uk are very scarce but there are realistic alternatives known as mini jobs in the long run people have different strategies also remember that people come to this um europe and other western world with a lot of fraudulent documents and this, to an extent, determine how free they are to work, the nature of the jobs they are able to get, and how much they will be paid in return. Sometimes, the suffering can be relative based on how you got them. I am equally aware that life is simply not about degrees. Making it in life is about hard work, dress, saving skills, street smarts. And the rest that you can equally add on the comment section where we can both learn from. Well, guys, this is what I have decided to bring here. And I'm sure you are going to enjoy this. Let's make the comment section very interactive. Leave your opinions, what you think. And thank you so much if you've watched us to this point. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs>